Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to add sound effects to GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you're not already. If you do not already have the application, just go to the app store and download it and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page where you can get started with finding the instrument that you want to play you can open up this audio recorder to get started recording yourselves and so on so let's go ahead and see how to add sound effects basically guys i'm going to open up the audio recorder option for today's video you can use any of the options you want you can add open up the instruments it's going to be the same menu right here but now we can get started recording ourselves so guys there are multiple sound effects that you can add the first one is to add a sound effect to your voice so as you can see by clicking the red circle right here at the top of the screen it's going to start the recording process and after finishing the recording process you can see now we can get started with adding voice effects that we want to use and any sound effects that we want to use on our voice right here to see how it sounds so you can go ahead and test that out but guys if you have your sound effects that you have there are multiple ways to add it basically we want to go right here into edit mode in the upper left corner and once clicking edit mode is going to open up this mixing mode where we can see all the tracks we have such as our audio record we have the grand piano we have played our instrumental and so on and in the upper right corner is going to appear a button that's going to enable us once you click it to add our files so guys you can see next to the files app we have our apple loops and under apple loops you can find any sounds that you want to add to your file directly or you can just click the browse items from the files app option that's going to enable you to select any sound effect options and mp3 files that you have right here in your files app go ahead and click on them and it's going to add them right here where you can click and drag and drop them into your mixing studio to add those effects to your mixing track and get started with using them but yeah guys basically that is it how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys thanks for watching take care and bye